and landing that appointment right there was a great example of what will happen during your calls and Hey, Troy. Hello. Hey, Troy. Good morning. This is James Michener with uh, Realty One Group. Um, I was giving you a call about hey, the... Man. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I was calling you about the uh, Serpentine home that you're maybe looking at selling. Yeah. So I wanted to reach out to you about that. Yeah, um, I can't talk very long. Um, unfortunately, I'm at my job. Oh, um, yeah. But if you would like, we could have a conversation. I, either I could call you back on my lunch or yeah. um, at five o'clock. That's my, my time off. Yeah. Uh, like I could give you a call or you could call me. Absolutely. Five. Yeah. I'll call you at five. Um, do you have time this week or next week for us to come by and look at the house for you and see what we can do to get it sold? Just kind of go over any questions you have. Uh, right now I am training agents. Uh, okay. So you'd be my third person. Oh. I want to find somebody here within the next two weeks to three weeks by the end of the September month, basically. Absolutely. Uh, and I want to hopefully work with them on selling the home. And then um, if if they can work in the area I'm looking to buy, uh, maybe transition over to a buying phase with them. Uh, it just depends. I'm mostly interested in finding somebody that can help me sell my home, though, uh, at this moment. Absolutely. And just so you know, my team is the number one selling team in Prescott Valley for sales and has been for the last five years. So. Um, I own, I've sold three properties on Serpentine as well. In Unit 20, I own a house also. So I'm really, really familiar yeah. with it. What, what exactly are you looking for in an agent? I know you said you were screening. Is there anything particular that you're hoping to get? Uh, more or less. I'm trying to uh, weed out anybody that, uh, that doesn't have as much. It's, it's the experience factor and um, and more or less like uh, what they're able to uh, provide as far as like the service uh, because what I'm I'm in the financial industry right now so I uh, to be honest I'm going to give you my time frame so I have up to a year okay it could take a full year before I want to get out of here I could be out of here next month um, my my commute has gone from. Um, reasonable the two hours there and two hours back oh my gosh wow oh where are you commuting back and um, forth from i'm commuting to chandler okay. uh, and it's a week on week off so that's why i'm giving myself a year is because at this moment i'm not uh 100 percent down in that office okay um okay. so i you know like this week i'm up in prescott uh valley living you know working out of my home uh next week i go back down to Chandler and it's, um, it, you know, it, it's not terrible right now, but it's not something that I don't think would be long-term sustainable for me. Yeah. I think I'll drive myself mad after a minute. Well, yeah. Uh, plus you're going to, yeah, you're going to have to deal with all that the construction on 17 too. That's just going to be horrendous here pretty quick. So if it hasn't already started in there, um, but that's good. You're doing the screen. Screening. And so our team has sold 143 properties so far this year. Half of those have been in Prescott Valley. Um, and I'm happy to go over that with you. Do you have time tonight, later this evening after work, by chance, for us to stop by and just take a look at the yeah. house? Yeah. I, well, uh, tonight I have to drive down to Phoenix again, uh, unfortunately, and I do apologize. So I'm going to be leaving. But if you contact me at 5 p.m., uh, I might be able to set up something for tomorrow if you're willing or, 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 uh, you know, the, yeah. trying to get the ball rolling as quickly as possible, but I, I really need to get going here shortly because yeah. I'm going to be on a call here. Okay. Next. What time tomorrow works, uh, to come, come stop by and we'll just do it then. Uh, let's do, can we do a, uh, two o'clock? Absolutely. Yep. We'll make two o'clock work. So. Okay. Yep. You're not going to call me back. I'm going to meet with you tomorrow. Instead. Yeah. I, I would rather do that. Yep. Yeah. 
Scott, so would you do me a favor too? Would you also send me your contact information like as soon as we get off the phone? So oh, absolutely. I know exactly who you are and everything else. Yep, absolutely. That will work perfect. I can do that for you. Thank you so yeah. much. And you said your name is James, correct? James Michener. Yeah, thanks for remembering. Not everybody does when you're making these calls, so I appreciate that. So. Not a problem. Uh, All right, James. I look forward to meeting with you tomorrow at two. Perfect. All right. Thank you. You have a great day, okay? You too. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. So that was a listening appointment that was set. Yes, that's awesome. That's amazing. I wanted that for this video. A um, couple things. He came in as a website lead for us, and uh, obviously he said that he was screening. I wanted to do a phone call at 5 o'clock, uh, but then slightly mentioned that he might be able to set something up for Saturday. So I would rather push for the in-person appointment than the phone appointment. That way he can't screen us out during uh, the phone appointment, because if we can get in front of somebody, it's going to be so much more powerful than it will be to just do a phone appointment with them. The couple things is, if you notice, I let him talk a lot, right? Because I wanted to see what his pain points were. And his pain points were that he has to travel back and forth for work. He's got two hour uh, back and forth. I know that there's traffic and there's going to be a big inconvenience going back and forth on the 17, which he has to take both ways. And he knows that as well. So him moving in a timely manner is going to be huge. He also mentioned that he wanted somebody with experience, see what they could do to actually get the property sold. And uh, you know, the, he just wanted the best agent. So at that point in time, I knew that we could solidify this because we have the best marketing plan. We're, we have the, some of the best stats as well. And uh, we're just aggressive and we can make it happen. So I'm going to set this up with, Victor, with one of my um, team members, Victoria, who's my lead agent and does amazing and she should be able to square this away. But yeah, um, let me know if you have questions. I mean, feel free to DM me too about this because this is a huge, huge, huge thing for um, prospecting and landing that appointment right there was a great example of what will happen during your calls and what to do. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't have done is... Uh, I felt like maybe I talked a little bit too much in the beginning. You want them to talk. You want them to tell you what they what they need and what they want. So I uh, should have maybe pulled back a little bit on that. So anyways, uh, that was a great call. So I'll end this. That way I can send it over to uh, YouTube and get this going.